I'm happy to speak to you today at the opening of the third Cameroonian Forest Governance Forum meeting. Um, the meeting is part of the uh, EU and DFID UK funded project called Strengthening African Forest Governance through high-level national illegal logging meetings and mid-level awareness raising and training. Uh, the idea behind the Forest Governance Forum meetings is something that we borrowed from Chatham House. Uh, for a number of years, Chatham House were organizing and facilitating what they call illegal logging update meetings. These were meetings that were taking place twice every year. And uh, these meetings were proving to be very, very successful. And we felt uh, this is something that is needed, uh, mainly to bring that concept closer uh, to the people that are affected by the decisions that are made in uh, forest management. I think uh, the Forest Governance Forum has contributed to the uh, forest governance issue here in Cameroon through uh, the creation of a, an independent space of dialogue <clears throat> where stakeholders can come and share their thinking uh, on a free way, discuss with others, meet with others and create contact between stakeholders. We have a big cooperation here in Cameroon and we are funding some uh, projects uh, uh, that are supporting uh, the VPA FLECTI process in Cameroon. It's not a very simple process. Uh, we need to, to make a lot of reforms. So I think this kind of uh, workshop, this kind of forum is very important for, for the FLECTI process and for also the donors. When we talk about the forest, we talk about where we live and the pygmies. And uh, you know, uh, this forest is being destroyed. Our habitat is being destroyed and the wood is cut off. And um, that is where we do our logging. That is where we have our medicinal plants. And that is where we do our gathering. So this forest is, uh, is being damaged uh, on a regular basis without uh, our consent and without even compensation. And I think uh, this forum, which is about to strengthen uh, the forestry uh, governance in Cameroon, is very, very appropriate with respect to our indigenous communities, the Bororos and the Pygmies. I would say the flight process has contributed a lot in a few areas. The first one I would like to put emphasis on is the uh, ability of this process to get the st stakeholders who have been neglected in the past to come into the game of discussion. Ce forum nous apporte beaucoup de réponses dans la mesure où nous avons constaté que nous avons presque les mêmes problèmes au Ghana, au Cameroun uh, concernant le secteur privé. The best thing in the Forest Governance Forum for me is exchange information exchange, knowledge exchange. So, forest governance comes now and uh, educate people not to dis destroy trees, because the administration alone cannot protect forests all over. And uh, that's one thing that um, I appreciate, the presence or the fact that we have forest governance from time to time. Nous, nous habitons la forêt et il faut en savoir plus pour la défendre. Le forum en tant que tel, tel que je l'ai vu, ça va motiver eh, les communautés à partir eh, du leader que je suis. Et je crois que c'est un forum assez intéressant pour tout le monde. Well, Sunday, I think the first thing is uh, everybody is sensitized. And uh, even those people who are ignorant about the laws that exist, uh, you see there's much, uh, there's much uh, media propaganda, and everybody is now uh, aware. And uh, we too, we are involved because our institutional capacity is being built as a result of this forum. You, you saw yesterday the participation of the Secretary General of the Ministry of Forest. I think this is important so that when we go to him and we raise these problems, he will be able to understand that we have a, a tangible uh, 
problems that really merit the attention of the government. And I think uh, we were ignorant about, about, about the laws that exist. But since we came here, we have been uh, reading books and textbooks and all of that. And I think that is helping us tremendously. Uh, if you don't want uh, what you are saying in these meetings to be used or to be referenced to you after the meeting, you can say so. And that will not be and, and that will be followed in terms of not mentioning or making reference to what you said outside, outside the meeting. And I think that gave confidence uh, to people as well. And I do remember very well an example of someone from the uh, Congolese administration that was a bit upset about the way that the process was not turning well in this country. And he was really uh, unable to, to express that in his country. And he, he did that quite well, not in a rude way, but uh, very, very clearly, and it was very, very useful for the other also. At these meetings, we started uh, organizing them uh, when the project started. And uh, each meeting when we started uh, would take place over two days. And each day would be divided into a number of sessions, usually two sessions in the morning and two sessions in the afternoon. And each session will be made up of a particular theme. So the presentations uh, in that session would focus on a very, very specific theme. Uh, and it would comprise maybe 10, 15 minutes of a presentation, uh, maybe three or four people making presentations. And then uh, half an hour or an hour uh, of question and answer from, uh, from, 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 from the audience. And then there would be typically dedicated sessions on um, progress within the private sector, um, concerns of civil society, and uh, concerns and, and issues that are related to government, government and uh, procurement procedures. The way we designed the question and answer was uh, would uh, allow uh, a set number of questions at a time. So say four or five questions uh, would be put across to the panel or the presenters and then uh, they would respond to those questions and then we go back again and take a few more, a few, another round of four or five questions as well. You know, there are the language barriers between countries in the region and this allows um, them to sort of cross these barriers where, where you have the ranged places where uh, there is translation uh, and I think it's very helpful. I am here from my organization just because we organize a side event and so I think that's a good opportunity as well to, to use the fact that everybody is here to organize um, activities with them and to connect some of the participants around some topics. For me it was a great pleasure and a great interest because this forum has permis to have at least this exchange beaucoup de participants, beaucoup d'interventions avec les pays déjà avancés comme le Cameroun qui ont déjà signé l'accord et la République démocratique du Congo qui est dans le processus de négociation. The Forest Governance Forums have contributed to the flagged VPA process, I think, mainly by uh, what I would call venues of accountability and that's where people can actually ask quite direct and sometimes difficult questions of those with power, whether it's governments, or whether it's the, the logging sector, whether it's the donor community, um, to, to push them in public to make commitments, to make statements, to, to re reassert that they are committed to reforming forest governance and not just tinkering with the easy bits. The Forum for the Governance Forestière is an espace of exchange very important for us, which has a specificity, or mieux, je dirais, an innovation. Parce que aujourd'hui, je participe à ce forum de, Cam de Cameroun. J'ai eu à participer à deux forums en RDC. La spécificité, c'est de commencer par donner la parole aux communautés locales qui, souvent dans d'autres forums, n'ont pas l'occasion de s'exprimer. Et là, c'est vraiment une innovation et une spécificité du forum sur la gouvernance forestière. Le forum parle, parle de la processus de euh, FLEC. C'est important. Le FLEC est pour la lutte contre la correction. Et quand moi je regarde, c'est très bon et c'est très important. Parce que quelque part, ça va protéger les communautés. Parce que les gens qui subissent beaucoup plus, 
pour la correction, c'est nous les BACA. The most hopeful achievement from the forums would be that there is south-to-south -south, um, analysis and exchange of information. Particularly in Africa, our aspiration was to have a francophone, anglophone exchange. So our biggest hope would be that there would be real practical problems, real practical solutions discussed between those engaged on the front line of trying to uh, tackle illegal logging. We've had similar forums in the UK um, which bring people from all over the world but uh, obviously it's, there's limitations on how many people from Africa can come here so this allows Africans to share experiences amongst themselves. In Europe we have uh, increasingly environmentally aware uh, consumers who want to make sure that uh, what they consume uh, stems from uh, sustainable forest uh, management. I think another really positive effect is we've tried to launch some original research at each forum um, and sometimes that's generated a high, high level of discussion. Some of the, the research that um, has been made about, for example, uh, VPAs and poverty alleviation was first presented at, at Forest Governance Forum. Um, some of the recent research that Rainforest Foundation UK has done on um, conversion in Central Africa was, was presented for the first time um, in Africa at Forest Governance Forum, which created quite a stir. I think uh, the private sector uh, is maybe not enough represented in this kind of forum, but it's difficult to uh, uh, to involve them because they have a lot of things to do and sometimes for them three days is like losing money. So it's, it's, it's sometimes difficult to uh, to have their participation, but uh, it's, it, it, it's, it's very important and we should focus more on the private sector. It would be sad if this, this forum meetings uh, end because, because this space that we have, we have created will, will suddenly disappear and it will take uh, another few years again to rebuild that space. I think it, it will be very, 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 very unfortunate if we lose that, that momentum, that interest, that culture uh, of exchange of information, of talking about very sensitive issues, but in a friendly, in, in a friendly and open way, and being positive about the challenges as well. If we lose that, I'm afraid it will be very, very uh, sad indeed. In the future, because you know, environment issues cut across, they don't belong to one country. Um, so there should be the opportunity for more engagement across countries, across boundaries, on a regional basis. The issue is the leadership to continue to organize this fora. My question is, in whose hands are we going to leave this process?